Today we have a new battery from Fragile. Today we have a new battery from EnjoyBot. Let's open it up. Here's our manual. Okay, so this is the 24 volt, 100 amp hour battery. So we can charge at 50 amps. We can uh, max discharge at 100 amps. Your uh, max inverter load would be around 2,560 watts. It says you can do 10 pieces in parallel. And it says four pieces in series, but I don't think you can series four of the 24 volt because it says your, your max voltage would be 48. Uh, so I think you could series two together for 48 volts. And there's the battery itself. Very attractive. I like the kind of a charcoal gray case with an orange top. And it also came with some battery terminal bolts. All right, well, let's get this guy charged up and we'll do a capacity test. Or actually, let's weigh this thing first and then we'll charge it. All right, so this thing comes in at 42.8 pounds. And we're gonna charge this guy up with a beautiful Victron 130. All right, and it's showing that we're putting in 311 watts right now. And our voltage is at 26.6 volts on this battery. That's because we don't really have direct sunlight on our panels. It's kind of earlier in the morning and we got a shaded spot over there. So once that clears out, we'll get some solid power coming in. All right, so when this charges up, we'll get to our discharge capacity test. All right, so the battery is now in float. That means it is fully charged. We can actually look at how much power we put in today. And we put in 1.48 kilowatts. And this battery is a 2.56 kilowatt battery so we put in uh, a little over half well, a bit over half all right so let's set this up to do a discharge capacity test all right guys so we've got the shunt hooked up to the battery and we got the inverter as the load so let's go ahead and turn the inverter on and hooked up to the inverter is this AC so let's turn it on and we'll run it at medium. Give it a second to start up. Let's see. We'll start seeing some power being drawn here. All right, looks like we're pulling 34.6 amps, 915 watts. We'll just let that run, and I'll come back when the test completes. So we're down to 1% left on the discharge test. We got 99.14 amp hours, 2,559 watt hours so far. So we are super close. And I'm pretty certain that this is going to pull full capacity. We don't really see the voltage even sagging very much. We're about to come up on full capacity here. There we go. 100 amp hours. 2,581 watt hours. So we have pulled full capacity. We're just gonna let it keep going to see how far it'll go. All right, so we're still going. Almost at 104 amp hours. I'm seeing the voltage starting to drop a little bit faster now, so we're probably 
coming up on the completion of this discharge test. All right, the inverter is starting to cry, so let's turn the load off. There we go. And we'll turn the inverter off. All right. Oh, man, we almost made it to 105 amp hours. We'll give it to them. We'll just say 105. Uh, 2,695 watt hours. Awesome. That's a great result for this battery, guys. Well, I was totally going to tear this battery down, but then I read this. Do not disassemble. JK. All right. Our positive is a six gauge silicone with another jacket on top of it. So they want to make sure these things don't short out. That's good. And it looks like on the negative side, we have a double eight gauge. <laughs> My goodness. That thing is in there, guys. Ah. Maybe we can try a different route. Maybe we just cut this heat shrink and see if we can pull them out. All right, let's see if we can do some damage now. It does have a nice uh, crimp. You can see that it is a hydraulic crimp on there. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. All right, yeah, just a, kind of a basic case. This one was actually easier to open, which was nicer. It has little, little catch latches on it, and uh, they just use silicone on it. Uh, so it's nice being able to open this up without tearing it up. Let's open from this end. Let's open the package uh, from this end because this is where the BMS is gonna be. Should be a little bit, well, we might be able just to just remove this tape. There we go. All right. Um, well, we don't have pouch cells. These are actually prismatic cells. I can see it. Okay, let's take a look at this BMS. Uh, it's mostly Chinese, actually. So that's, I see 100 amp and an 8 so I'm assuming that means it's 8s 100 amp which would make sense now the thing that I'm not seeing is I'm not seeing an act an actual thermal probe I see a thermal switch so I'm not sure that this does have low temperature protection let's uh, open this front part here and see if we can look at the top part of the batteries and see if we find a thermal probe uh, no, we don't have a thermal probe. We do have a high temperature switch, which is what that is right there. So we can see the construction. It looks pretty good. We've got plastic pieces on the end here that wrap around the end cells. And then we've got banding holding the cells together. They did include uh, some insulation between the cells, so that will keep... Uh, these cells from shorting out between each other. We've got aluminum welded bus bars and the cells are I see SD 3.2 volt 320 watt hour 5016019 100 amp hour. I've got a number here of 03FC, B as in boy, 1, B as in boy, 005, A as in apple, 011. We got a C as in cat, 5R000792. I've never seen these before, so I don't know who this manufacturer is. So let's try to scan it with the battery QR scanner. Yeah, it's saying unknown. So this cell type is lithium iron phosphate. Uh, production date is uh, 5-24-2022. The city wa it was produced in is Q-I-N-G-D-A-O. Don't know how to pronounce that. And there were 792 cells produced in this batch, I'm assuming. 
But, uh, yeah, I mean, it looks pretty good. The construction looks fine. The BMS is mounted on this a piece of fiberboard underneath it. That is very good. Uh, that way it doesn't uh, short out to this end cell. Uh, so it's very... They, they built it very well. And it's glued down. The sense wires are all screwed down to the bus bars. And the cable management looks really good. They've got the, the wires running down the center. Nothing's going to short out on the bus bars. And uh, they're wrapped. So, yeah, I don't see any issues here. The only thing is, I don't know if this battery is sold with low temperature cell protection. Uh, but I don't see where the BMS actually has that. So we weren't able to test that because I don't see where a thermal probe is for me to test it. And I'm not sure if that's what they mean. Is that if Do they mean this battery has low temperature protection or are they telling you just don't charge the battery? It says do not charge the battery under zero Celsius. I feel like maybe that's what this means is that they are telling you don't charge the battery under zero Celsius. Maybe they're not claiming that it has low temperature protection. But other than that, I think it's a pretty cool battery. I really like the color scheme. I like that orange and kind of charcoal blackish gray. All right, guys, so leave your comments. Let me know what you think about this battery. Please like and subscribe if you have not already. That helps out the channel a whole lot. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.